Hey, Cardinals, how's everybody doing? It's Miss Duncan. Thank you for joining me for another edition of TCEPE with Miss D. That's me. Hope everybody's doing well today. So, hey, today what we're going to be focusing on are some soccer skills. Okay, we have worked on some dribbling in the past. That's where you move the ball with your feet down the field. We have focused on some toe taps and some footwork, getting our feet used to doing some eye foot coordination, which is when our eyes see something, they send a message to our brain. Our brain sends a message to our feet what to do. Today, we're gonna be working on passing. Now you might be saying, Ms. Duncan, I'm at my house, I'm at my apartment, I'm all by myself. How am I gonna pass to somebody? All you need is a wall, my friends. All you need is a wall and some type of ball. It doesn't have to be a soccer ball. This is an indoor soccer ball. This is what I'm gonna use, but it can be a smaller ball. Any type of ball will work, okay? Because all we're working on is getting the mechanics down uh, of our footwork, okay? So today, we're gonna focus on trapping the ball and passing the ball. Now, we know in soccer, can we use our hands? No, no, you're right. We could not use our hands in soccer. No, nobody can, only the goalie. And right now we are not the goalie. So we know we cannot use our hands in soccer. So how can we stop the ball when it's rolling towards us? Okay, how can we stop the ball when it's rolling towards us? So we know we can use any part of our feet. A lot of times we might use the bottom part of our foot. We might use the instep, the outstep, or our shoelaces depending on what type of kick or what we need to do with the ball. So if I have a ball rolling towards me, one way I can trap it is just by lightly placing the bottom of my foot on that ball, okay? I don't wanna press hard because then the ball's gonna roll one way and I'm gonna go another way. That's not good, okay? So if we just lightly put our foot on top of it, we know that that's gonna stop the ball. Another way that I can stop a ball that's rolling to me is if I take my foot and I have a soft give, so I'm gonna roll this to myself, and you'll notice I use the inside of my foot to kind of use it as a blocker, but I'm gonna just have a light touch on that, okay? So if a ball's rolling towards my foot, boom. I just put my foot there to kind of block it, give a little bit with it, and that way that's called trapping the ball. So the ball can't go anywhere else. I've trapped it right here at my body, at my feet which is exactly where I want the ball to be. Now, in soccer, obviously, we have teammates. We gotta be able to pass the ball, right? We wanna be able to pass the ball to our teammate, not to the other team. So that's why working on your aim and passing is so important. So, like I said, you might be saying, Miss Duggan, I don't have anybody to pass to. That's okay, all you need is a wall. I'm gonna use this wall right here, okay? So I've got my ball, I've got my wall, hey, those two words rhyme. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start with just my right foot. We're gonna be working on the right foot first, okay? So we all know which one our right is, right? You guys know the secret, how to pick your right from your left, okay? If I hold my fingers up like this, the one that makes the L the right way is my left. The one that makes a backwards L, that's my right, okay? So, I've trapped the ball, I've got it stopped. I'm gonna use the inside of my right foot to pass the ball to the wall. Guess what's gonna happen when it gets there? Is it just gonna stop? No, it's gonna pass it back to me. The wall is gonna pass it back to me. I know, I know, it's crazy. So I'm gonna stop the ball. I'm gonna pass it with the inside of my foot. I'm gonna use the, see how I use the top of my foot right there to trap it? And I'm gonna pass it, okay? Just working on using the inside of your foot, getting used to what that feels like, okay? So if I'm gonna pass it to a teammate, I'm gonna use the inside of my foot. I'm never gonna use my toe, okay? So I trapped it, pass it. As you get more comfortable, you can pass it a little harder. Okay, and right now, we're just working on two touches. These are called two touches because I touched the ball once and twice. Once, twice. Once, twice. Once, twice. All right, so as you get used to that, practice a little bit and then have your grown up or a brother or sister time you for 30 seconds. See how many passes you can do against the wall in 30 seconds with your right foot. Now, we know we can't just do our right foot. 
we also got to be able to do our left foot, right? So let's try the left foot. Here we go. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use my right foot to trap it. And then I'm going to use the inside of my left foot to kick it and pass it to the wall. I'm going to use my right foot to trap, left foot to pass. Right foot, touch one, left foot, touch two. As you can tell, I am better with my right foot than I am with my left. That's okay. How do we get better at things? We practice. That's right. That's how our brain learns how to do things. That's how our muscles become stronger and better at what we're asking them to do. We gotta build up those pathways in our brain, okay? So, that's the left foot. Two touch passes. Remember, one touch is trapping the ball, the second touch is making the pass. Now that you've practiced with your left foot, now I want you to have your grown up or brother, sister, or maybe you can use your iPad to time yourself for 30 seconds. See how many passes you can get with your left foot in 30 seconds, okay? So we've got a 30 second challenge on our right foot, a 30 second challenge on our left foot, okay? So that is your challenge for today. I want you to do those challenges three times, okay? You should be able to get more passes in the second time than you did the first time, and you should be able to get more passes in the third time than you did the second time. Why? Because we're teaching our brain to send those messages to our feet. And every time we send that message, it gets stronger and the road gets wider and the road gets wider. All right, so we've learned trapping and we've learned passing. Now, we're gonna put those to use in a little game, okay? If you have a cup or a cone or some type of something that you can set up and that is your goal. That's what you're gonna try to knock over. You're gonna try to make a pass and hit that cone um, with the ball, okay? We're gonna start out, we're gonna stand, I'm gonna stand five steps away. So I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. All right, so here I am. My goal is to try to hit that cone. If I can hit that cone, I get one point. So I'm gonna make that pass. I touched the side of the cone, did you see it? So that'd be one point for me. All right, I'm gonna grab another ball. Okay, this is a smaller ball, not even a soccer ball. I'm gonna go five steps away. I've trapped the ball, now I'm gonna make a pass. Oh, I missed it that time. No big deal, okay? So here's how that game works. You're gonna put one minute on your clock, okay? One minute on your clock. You're gonna see how many points you can score from five steps away from your cone in one minute, okay? How many points can you score standing one, five steps away from your cone in one minute, okay? You're gonna try that challenge three times also, okay? So you've got three challenges to do today. We're gonna trap and pass two touches with the right foot for 30 seconds, three times. We're gonna do two touches with the left foot, trap and pass three times for 30 seconds. And then our last challenge, we're gonna set up a cone or a cup some type of object that I'm trying to hit. It could even be a stuffed animal. Why not? It can be, okay? I'm gonna stand five steps away from that. I'm gonna put one minute on my timer and then I'm gonna try to hit that. Every time I hit it, I earn one point. I'm gonna do that challenge three times as well, okay? Have fun with this Cardinals. Be active every single day for at least 60 minutes. Whether you're playing some soccer drills, whether you're outside riding your bike, going swimming, playing with your friends, get out, be active. The more active we are, the more it keeps everything in check, our emotions, our physical health, and our brain. So let's get out and be active. I'll see you guys soon.